this is Mike Lung over at Allendale's Trading Floor. It is Tuesday, November 10th. Day off with some green on the markets. You got corn up, uh, beans up, but at this point, hovering, waiting for that WAS report at 11. You got uh, Dow up with the rest of the equities lower. Uh, gold seeing some recovery after a very large sell off here yesterday, hitting uh, 100 bucks lower at uh, one point. Crude oil also holding around that $40 mark, still moving very sideways on a long term perspective. Most other things, we had a huge jump yesterday because of this vaccine hopes. Uh, 90%, uh, 90% vaccine rate. It, it works 90% of the time, sorry. Uh, and really got the trade excited. Everything was running higher, uh, but now we're starting to get to back to the realization that even the company is saying that they still see a couple months before it's even released. Uh, so now we're focusing back on we don't have a stimulus bill. China's already saying they're looking to re renegotiate phase one. Uh, so all of it is taking a little bit step back and saying uh, maybe we overdid it. You hit that 30,000 mark right on the head and then backed off here for the Dow. Uh, so we'll see if we do have some kind of blow off top kind of play or if we regain strength on uh, hopes of the vaccine working and coming in uh, pretty well. So other than that, we're going to be watching for this WAS report 11 here today. Could be looking for just above 2 billion uh, ending stock number for corn. 2.235 uh, is the average estimate for beans looking for a drop for both of those contracts a little bit of a supply drop expected uh, here with a uh, yield looking to decrease for corn and a bit of a yield decrease for beans as well so we'll be watching to see typically this has been in the past a kick the can report but as of this year people are really looking for a lot of changes we've seen several reports in a row that have very been very bullish surprises uh, USDA seems to be looking at a different data set than everyone else and continues to make very large changes so trade is expecting to see this bullish surprise continue at this point with uh, corn overpriced as compared to the average estimate ending stock so something to be watching there is if we do get a more bullish report than what trade estimates are looking at low end is sitting at that 1.85 uh, so watch for some kind of surprise 2020 is not over yet uh, as of yesterday, you had the crop progress report out. Corn came in at 91% harvested with beans at 92%. Winter wheat planting at 93% with uh, winter wheat ratings rising by 2% uh, above what that trade was expected. On the most active chart, still holding a nice uptrend line here for the corn. Uh, this is the weekly chart, and we're going to be looking right now, seem to be hold this uh, level right here, uh, this 420 mark is your second standard deviation in price since uh, we came down from that 2012 high. So as of right now, you can you can expect from the statistical data that we don't spend a lot of time above this 420 mark and with the outside day lower, or outside week lower uh, posted two weeks ago and still holding effect, you can probably be looking at this 422 area as good top side resistance. following a break of that $11 mark. So as of right now, we'll be watching, see what the WAS report has in store for us. If it is bullish, uh, you could expect to see a reaction to the bullish reports. Uh, something we're going to be watching, obviously, is uh, if we do stop at this uh, 1118 head and shoulders projection that uh, did get hit yesterday and reverse back lower. So something definitely be watching. Open interest is decreasing, but that uh, has not been a total deterrent from moving prices higher 2012 you did see that open interest decrease while we still added another dollar 70 uh something to the rally so something to be watching is this open interest decrease but don't expect it to stop this in its tracks at this point uh on the wheat side of things you have a nice evening star doji posted a couple weeks back with a uh big sell-off the week following getting a nice three river formation as you can see in the past we have seen some dojis similar to this that has topped out this uh, wheat market. So definitely something to be watching, especially with the failure last week that we did see. On the livestock side of things, natural soils came in at 2300 lower with average cash last week, 107 improving from the week before. Uh, you have box beef continuing to rise, which is uh, most definitely helping this uh, beef market that has recovered uh, from its lows. Yesterday we started the cutout contract, uh, did not see much interest, and uh, we saw PM 
uh, hog report uh, carcass up a dollar sixty three. On the most active chart, you have cattle at this point sitting right in the middle part of its uh, multi multi month, well actually multi year range, uh, potentially looking at a continued pattern higher with yesterday's very bullish price move gapping higher and seeing at least on the feeder side of things uh, a limit up kind of move. So bullish on the charts at this point. You got a nice uptrend that is currently in place with a nice V bottom. Uh, pausing right here in the middle section. Look at this uh, just below 115 level for your upside resistance on a major term. On the hog side of things, moving sideways much like we did in this part before. Uh, you see that nice spike higher. Could be looking at some kind of bull pennant forming here. But as of right now, a uptrend still in play. Uh, looking at potentially some sideways trade waiting to hear what we're going to be looking out for this China trade deal and whether or not they do come in here and renegotiate. If you guys have any questions, please give me a call 815-578-6177. Otherwise, have a great day out there. And the Wasi is out at 11. Bye. <music>